Welcome to Top Europe. In today's video, we will cover 5 car companies based in Europe that are producing world class hypercars. On the number 1 spot comes Bugatti. Known for their design and many victorious, few decades ago Bugatti is a legendary car known to almost everybody. It was founded in 1909 by Ettore Bugatti in then German city Molsheim. The Bugatti badge has quite a bit of history as well as a lot of ups and downs. There were many ups at the start and the company made a lot of great cars. First downs started in 1947 after Ettore Bugatti died and he had no successor to lead the company as his only son Gene Bugatti died in 1939. Just a little bit more than 8000 cars were made and the last model of Bugatti was released in 1950s. In 1963 company was purchased for airplane parts business. Then in 1987 Romano Artioli bought Bugatti brand and established Bugatti Automobili SPA. In 1991, Bugatti EB110 was released and then few more upgrades. Seven years later, after EB110 came out, Volkswagen acquired the Bugatti brand. Until 2005, they were making some EB concepts like EB118 and EB218. And then same year, in September, they released 1001 horsepower beast named Bugatti Veyron and then after it, Chiron, Vivo and others. To today, they are still producing fastest and world's top class supercars. Number 2. Koenigsegg Automotive Founded in 1994 in Sweden by Christian von Koenigsegg who had the intention of producing a world class sports car. In 1996, first CC prototype was published, while the full carbon fiber production prototype was finally unveiled at 2000 Paris Motor Show. But first Koenigsegg ever sold was Koenigsegg CC8S two years later at the Geneva Auto Show. From then, they made quite many models and they were all reaching very high speeds. In 2009, Forbes listed Koenigsegg CCXR as one of the world's most beautiful cars. Apart from making and selling line of sports cars, Koenigsegg is involved in green power or flower power. They already made one hybrid, Regera and another Gemera which is expected to be launched this year. Hello and welcome to Top Europe's channel. In today's video we are covering 5 world class hypercar companies that were established in Europe. If you have come this far into the video, please click that like and subscribe button as well as bell notification button so you won't miss any video we upload. Once this is done, we can continue where we left off. Number 3. McLaren Automotive Originally founded in 1963 and named McLaren Motor Racing by Bruce McLaren who was New Zealand race car driver, designer and engineer. He established his company in England. And just a year later, first McLaren M1A was produced and their first successor was the McLaren M1B with 43 victories. After a couple of years of winning, they started designing and testing a new prototype OBH500H which would be very light, fast and with high accelerations. But the car never came on the market since McLaren died in a car accident in 1970. They also cooperated with Mercedes-Benz and made Grand Tourer known as SLR or P7. In 2010 they became standalone manufacturer and now known as McLaren Automotive, they are pioneers in use of carbon fiber and motor racing. Number 4. Apollo Automobile a newer company was founded in 2004 under the name Gumpert Sportwagen Manufacture by Roland Gumpert. But first ideas about Street Eagle cars came up at the end of 2001 when Gumpert came back from China to Germany. A year later, in 2002, first 1 to 4 scale model of Gumpert's car was produced. With the development of the car now called the Apollo, they came out with two prototypes and then in October 2005 production of Apollo started. But the production of Apollo cars wasn't long because in August 2013 company filed for bankruptcy and went into liquidation. Then in January 2016 company Hong Kong consortium Ideal Team Venture bought Apollo Automobile. They still own the company and Roland Gumpert is no longer associated with the company or its future projects. And on the number 5 spot comes Pagani Automobili SPA. 
Horacio Pagani founded Pagani Composite Research in 1988 and was working with Lamborghini on numerous projects. Then in late 1980s Horacio started designing his own car which name would be C8 but then he planned to rename it to Fangio F1. This name would be to honor his friend Juan Manuel Fangio, a five-time Argentina Formula 1 champion. But name Fangio F1 was replaced seven years later when they came out with a car named Zonda. They stopped the production in 2013, but some deep-pocketed enthusiast was able to convince Pagani into making the last one in 2017. In January 2011, at the Geneva Motor Show, new model Pagani Huyawa was revealed. The name comes from the Incan god of wind, Huyawa Tata. They are one of the most high-tier hypercar makers. Pagani still runs production and they produce some of the most expensive hypercars in the world. These were top 10 hypercar companies in Europe. Hope you enjoyed this one and we we'll see you in the next video.